Yeah, it's always vacuuming. <laughs> you hear it turn on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his office with a loud vacuum noise going. <laughs> oh. He was, thought he was clean. Yeah. You are. No, no, no. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss. No. No. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Go. episode 988 of hard factor but more on that in a minute uh it is monday july 18th 2022 thank you for cheating on the news with us today uh wes has a ton of 90s stars in the cup of coffee in the big time is that right wes that is correct i also have a fun fact specifically for you will oh fantastic i love to start my week that way thank you wes you're welcome. Looking very much forward to it. Uh, Mark's got a lot of pussy to talk about on deck after that. That's right. Get your ears and your mouth ready and your hands. Ooh, crack your jaw. However yeah. you do it. Wet your lips a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, then switcheroo. <laughs> same rules kind of apply or they can. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, men playing with their dicks English, who speak English, oh. but all over the globe in the TikTok international moment. After that, so a little yin and yang. Uh, and then to close it out, new segment, Wonderful. the legal corner. Yeah, you guys know um, I have an interest in you know the law, and um, we're going to just examine a case on this. Would you consider yourself like an amateur attorney? Uh, I'm not, not an attorney, but I'm, I'm an amateur. I know more than the average bear about the oh, law. And I, I'm a hobbyist. Enthusiast? I'm an a enthusiast. Legal. Yeah, I'm a legal enthusiast. Yes. Okay. Was, yeah. That's I'm like, like right, right on that line of that person that makes that YouTube video where he challenges authority figures with not law, you know. Yeah, I like law. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm the brother of an attorney. Flirting yeah. with disaster. I the nephew. Uh, a lot of attorneys in my family. Uh, they said I couldn't cut it. And uh, <laughs> you never know. Might finish that associate's degree, finish that bachelor's, and then One get day. that One day. We're still young. I don't know. Dyslexia gets you during the bar. Don't write me off yet. A lot of We're books. Still young. A lot of books in, uh, in that degree. Mm-hmm. We can They're on that. tape, then I'm in business. <laughs> and also, plus you're you're building you're building a portfolio with these segments. The legal corner, you could slice it together to show your legal acumen. You know, you're damn right. You're damn right. So, um, also, guys, uh, on the episode numbers, do you, I mean, do you want to know what episode number this really is? Is it a thousand? Is today a thousand? It's one thousand and one today. Oh, <laughs> how did you go back and check all that? <laughs> wow. We're that uh, far off. We're 13 yeah, off. Yeah, we were, we were 13 off. Um, uh, so we got off track. I, I went back and I finally, in preparation for episode of 1000, I, I went back and I got it. So we, we got off track at number 174, which was right after the That's first Canvas bad. Cup. On, so I Sacra slept through episode 1000? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, and so, so, so yeah. Cannabis Cup Sacramento 4 20, 2019, we, we missed episode 174. That was the first misstep and yeah. then we basically forgot to number seven or eight episodes and then didn't account for the five or six interviews that we split out into audio which was a mistake anyways they do better when we include them in episodes right. so uh that's all on us and yeah we were 13 off so okay. time flies when you're having fun that's what they say that's, that's right that's an average of raw, wait, wait, four years times divided by 13 it's like four four ish off a year that's not bad once a quarter we, we skip a sode there you go uh, we right. do a sode again um so what are we saying this is though 988 well <laughs> yeah. it's 988 a, according to the top of the episode yeah, yeah. but i mean a like thousandth it's, episode what it's August 1001 yeah. This could be like, I mean, this could be like, we can now time whatever, but then after 1,000, we're probably going to want to jump to the real number. Well, I think, I think we're just going to have to ignore what you said for the sake of wind being in sales. Because uh, yes. we're on the road to 1,000. We can readdress what you said after. July. I love well, the idea of jumping uh, jumping forward from 1,000 to 1,014. Why don't we go at least ahead to like nine, nine like when, when do we want the 1,000th episode to be? Because now, we, when I thought that it was, I there's a little calendar. bit more. Big Naturals like, Day. Yeah, Big Naturals the Day. The ball is in our court a little bit. Let's see here. August 3rd. Mm -hmm. Is that when it's scheduled to be now? No, it's not. See, that's sooner. It, so we no. need to jump up. It is. It is. It's going to be August 3rd. Is it? 
Listen, well, either we keep it, we, either we keep the schedule we've had, or we don't, or we just say fuck it now and now and tomorrow's. I think we got to keep the schedule we had. Mm. We're also gonna have. No, um, it's the day after, isn't it? At least one like best. Uh, we're gonna have like one recycled show because we're all we're going to the beach in a couple weeks. Right. So we got to account for that. Right. Um. So we're gonna right. have to take this off. We're gonna have to take this offline. But I think yeah. August third is a good landing date. Mm -hmm. sure okay episode 1000 will be august 3rd yeah. but i mean it's gonna be probably like uh you know, 1015 right like yeah that's okay fine. well there if you, you count the day shows it's more like 1200 the bar oh, yeah, radio I mean, I just, 1500 i mean we've done more importantly issues. yeah does wes have a new dog that's only podcast that's only yeah. podcast and does mark have a new neighbor those are the two questions i want from the weekend i mean yeah. this dog <laughs> so you got foisted, huh? You mean Betty? Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> what yes, happened? I got foisted. Uh, her mom is is unwell. Uh, thoughts mm. and prayers to her. Um, so she's unable to take care of the dog. And we have now been given full legal rights to this. Uh, what we found out is a $1,500 Chihuahua, Applehood Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. She's very sweet. She's very great. We haven't made the final decision on whether or not we're going to keep her. She's growing on us, but we don't want another fucking puppy. We don't need another dog. We have three already. Your lady wants to keep her, doesn't she? Well, she's playing it cool. Huh. She's playing it cool. Yeah. She's she's making me be the bad guy because yesterday she was like, no, we don't need one. Then I said, my, my neighbor, Charles, who you guys know, Charles, he's yeah. got a couple chihuahuas. And I said, hey, Charles, I got this puppy. You want to check it out? And she's like, yeah, I'll check it out. And then she started changing her tune a little bit once it got a little real. Well, so. give, give some more context here. So you, you and your lady signed up for Rover. Yeah, so I signed up for Rover. I, I fucking I love dogs. I'm I love dogs. I've always wanted to Rover. I like watching. I I just I love dogs. Rover's pet, Rover's the pet babysitting. babysitting. Pet, pet Rover's babysitting. yeah, it's pet babysitting. Yeah. So, so you go out of town. Mm -hmm. You you pay someone to watch your dog or cat right. or whatever, and they and then you right. watch the dog or cat, and then you get paid a fee. Right. I, I pay for my electric bill, uh, you know, in, in a few days of, of, of watching your watching your dog. So, right. Um, it's great. And my dogs love other dogs. They're great with other dogs. So I was like, why not? So this is the literally the first rover. This woman contacts us on our way. To your first dog, dog? first rover, first rover. I mean, you're going to end up with 16 dogs if it goes yeah. like this. Will yeah. And when so you say quest, you, this you is the thing, you're a rover that takes them <laughs> at your house. So much higher likelihood that they're going to get foisted onto you. Yeah. Where else would you? Because when them? you take them in, you're you like could go kennel. to their house. They're like, like yeah. So yeah, that, that's a, that's a high mm. likelihood you're going to get that dog left. Listen, they they have a whole team. I called Rover, and they have a whole team that is uh uh sur deals with surrendered dogs. Right. You them. said legally <laughs> you have the right. <laughs> the there was time. a process. Yeah. Someone she hit a button. No, she so checked the her, box. Her son he didn't even go on hold. Listen, this lady is this, this lady is in a in a in a in a in a so you facility. own a new dog. This is all a plan. Okay. This is all a plan. She was My wife goes, "What kind of lunatic leaves an eight week old puppy with a stranger?" And it turns Somebody out, planned to do it. There, yeah. she, I mean, yeah, it turns out she's not well. So her son has been in contact with us. Uh, it's a bad situation for the family, unfortunately, but um, we are now fostering the dog. So hey. So when do you stop getting paid is the big question. Um, oh, so I, I got stopped getting paid Saturday. Um, so the, the, he's the Rover, he's, he's, he's buying the this dog shots and food. In the he's pound. losing money on Rover. Yeah, I've already lost money on Rover. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the first Rover fee is going to cover her last vaccinations, which are July 26th. Then we can seriously uh, start thinking about whether or not she's going to stay. And by amazing. that time, of course, we'll fall in love with her. And she'll stay. Right. Um, or yeah. we, we'll give her up. Because She's sick, but well enough to to get the dog to you. Sign up for Rover, negotiate a price, and, yes. and, but she's too sick to. Yeah, okay, got yeah. it. She couldn't she meet like, us at the house because she has high anxiety, so we right. had to go pick the dog up from her. She right. was checking all of her boxes before she went to the insane asylum, and she thought, "Who better to leave a dog with than a dog lover uh, at Rover? A right. guy who says he does it as a living. He yeah. loves it that much. <laughs> he, right. it's, certainly, it's not his first time." She was so thankful. I should have seen the signs at how how much she thanked us um, whenever we, oh. she was giving us the dog. <laughs> The writing was on the wall. So <laughs> happy. Thank you for taking this with no end date. So happy. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Yeah, so it's that's true. her though. She's very cute. She's awesome. She gets well. She's 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 a very fun dog puppy mm -hmm. so far. Oh, you're doing keeper. great. Yeah. Yeah. And then my homeless uh, neighbor, um, I walked to 7-Eleven for the first time in a while and he he left his bolt cutters on the on the bench that he slipped Look at that. next to his pillow. That was yeah, great. Yeah. yeah he, he, had, he had his, his bindle, his yeah. pillow and his bolt cutters. There's only one thing you do with bolt it. cutters. That's rob yeah. people. Mm -hmm. That's 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 what they that's what they're good for. Um, wow. <laughs> Wes, who's gonna have more? Are you gonna have more dogs than Mark has cats after this? No, 
I mean, Tied, honestly, right? once you get to four, <laughs> what's the fucking difference? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. I'll, well, I'll congrats, Wes. Keep you updated. Congrats. Yeah, fighting to you. keep it at two over hey. here. Yeah. Um, Mark, you pulling up a pick or you want me to go? Keep the... going. I'll pull it up okay. in the middle. Keep All right. Well, let's let's oh, get to get the, the picture of the bull cutters. Yeah, yeah. the bull cutters picture is awesome. <laughs> Just pop pretty, in any time. It's pretty good. Not it's good little, for home values, little, but yeah. yeah. His little camp he set up there. Yeah. yeah. In the bus. It's a great camp. All right. Uh, let's do the news. <laughs> Cup of coffee in the big time. Cup of coffee in the big time. Fun fact. Again, this one's for Will. Um, and I don't know. Maybe we've covered this before, but Will, going back to your Raven. Did you know that crows are able to hold grudges for up to two years? Yeah. Scientifically did. proven. Did I did know that. Yeah. 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 They don't forget a face. If you're mean to a crow, they will fuck with you. Um, and they, yeah, they, so they, they, I, I so got to keep my head on a swivel. And your cat. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, call that did. a statute of limitations in the legal world, the, the period yeah. of time um, that something can take place within. Yeah. Look, so, we had to pet. get that raven out of here. It, it's gone, though. So. Oh, it is? Yeah. It's been oh, gone. Right. Oh, the okay. the yeah. like uh everybody was sick of the fucking raven uh mm -hmm. remember that morning i was like oh there's a cop here looking at the raven well yeah. i think it like immediately boom raven gone so oh oh sweet okay yeah. he was well, given the okay to kill it i, I mean i hope I, I you know you can only <laughs> hope mark yeah yeah all right well uh just be careful out there if you're dealing with the raven they will uh they will remember your face uh, like elephants huh like they really don't forget i yeah, kind of hope it two comes years. back they're I like incels. They I'd say. Magpies, yeah. ravens, crows. They all are just vengeful birds. And they're smart. They're smart. Mm -hmm. Corvid family. Is that what it is, Wes? Is that what I, it's called? I, I have no Something idea. Like that. The yeah. crow family, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, ravens is the homeless guy. Yeah, so this is, is a wide this is a wide angle of just three feet across from the, the so it's a two lane, <laughs> one lane each way. Uh, He's got I, a drink. I, my <laughs> podcast room is uh, about six feet directly you know so east close he's ready to it's, break in now here's yeah. a close-up <laughs> he's got his drink, drink and, and the styrofoam cup is like <laughs> vodka and, and red juice there's his those? pillow and his shopping cart are those bolt, those are those real cutting. bolt cutters or those hedge, like hedge clippers okay yeah i don't think they can yeah, cut they're, their weak. Bolt. Yeah. they're they're weak they're they're weak bolt cutters they're so wannabe bolt cutters yeah they're fence cutters though he's easily cut through fences with that they're fence cutters amazing yeah um so yeah, my girlfriend gave me a, a hand job the other day using Vaseline, and I uh, cool. I came three times trying to wash it off. <laughs> <laughs> you just kept but giving yourself a hand job. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get to some uh, let's get to some trending mentions, guys. First up, sports uh, sad one. Former NASCAR legend Bobby East. You guys hear about this? Um, he was stabbed to death. There he is. Um, at a gas station in Westminster, California, police found him on the ground in the parking lot of a 76 gas station. Uh, they tried to save him, but it was too late. Um, they later named this D-bag um, the prime suspect. Whoa. Look at this guy. Jeez. Yeah. He's got I mean, like, he's got the whole he's got not only the face hats, but also the head, the head sleeve. The, oh, he's the got he's got he's like he, he's got everything. He's like he a looks demon. like he knows his way around some hedge clippers. Yeah, exactly. He looks like a guy that you give about 10 feet to because of, yes. you know, the potential of stabbing. Yeah, but NASCAR guys are so tough, Pat. They're like they're yeah. alphas. They're... And he's at the gas station. That's his. Yeah, that's his, his area. territory. Exactly. His right. Yeah. That's so um, but luckily, uh, the uh, an arrest warrant was was issued for this guy Friday. A SWAT team was requested because this guy is just obviously very violent. Yeah. And they shot him to death. Um, there Whoa. was a shootout. Um, okay. He died. He shot a police dog. The dog is going to survive. Oh, but um, oh, shot a dog. Yeah. Jesus Christ. He man. was on parole for armed robbery at the time. He had an outstanding warrant um, for an unrelated parole violation. Um, of Bobby East, the United States Auto Club said Bobby East, one of the most prolific drivers of his era and a three time USAC national champion driver in USAC Silver Crown and Midgets, passed away on the night of July 13th, 2022. He was 37 years old. So RIP to him. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Um, the British Open, uh, Northern Ireland's Rory McElroy let everyone down in the UK by losing the 150th British Open to uh, St. Andrews, which is just the, the most like it's the best British Open that you could possibly win in your life in the last, you know, 150 years. Is it always at St. Andrews or is it no, like ch no. change courses? It changes courses. It changes Damn. courses. That's the birthplace um, of golf. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yep. Legally. It, it certainly is. Pat. 
It certainly is. Um, he lost uh, a four-shot lead. Him and Victor Hovland um, both lost a four-shot lead to Australian Ooh. Cam Smith, who shot eight under 64, birdieing the first five holes in the back nine, shooting a 30. Um, his score Damn. matched the lowest score in a major championship history. His 30 uh, was the lowest score across the final half of a round for any major champion. And most importantly, he helped me break even on my bets because I took a little small bet on him. So I broke even on the on the on the tournament. So you uh, lost a little bit. Nice. Uh, no, I, I actually broke even. I, I, I it was like literally a break even situation. So it wasn't even. a wasn't How'd a rover situation. Broke even. What's that? Yeah, I broke even. Mm hmm. Yeah, I bet fifty. Uh, he was plus a, plus a thousand after, well, Mark the, after says, day two. Mar let me let me translate. Mark says you're lying. You're lying. No, I, yeah. I know he's lying. I, I can prove that I'm not he lying. You broke even on Rover. <laughs> you too, got right? the slips. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm very honest about my bets <laughs> and, how much I, and how much I fucking lose on gambling. Guy, right. Guys saying they broke even in gambling is like you know in high school or college when you see how many girls you hooked up with. Well, no, if Wes only lie. gambled on golf, he'd probably be up. Like, oh, I'm way yeah, up on but, golf. But, um, but, how but, many? I would say. I saw his picks in the Discord. He picked seven guys that weren't Cam Smith. Got to be seven guys that weren't. Right, but I hedged after day uh -huh. two. To break even, right? right. right it was the girl even. at camp, <laughs> the camp girl, uh, and the one my bets on tomorrow for you, vacation. Um, anyway, but uh, during his press conference, if you ask me, he's going to live. Uh, they were asking him about his the future in golf. Oh, really? And, oh, really? Yeah. Smith going oh, to he, live? He was very, uh, why are you asking me about this? Th that's, that's for my team to decide. He made no definite statement. Sounds like it sounded exactly Mind like your business, Brooks, mate. I yeah. Sounded exactly like what Brooks Kappa was saying at the U.S. Open before he uh, is went to Cam live. Is Cam Smith the world number one now? Did he pass Scheffler? Because he's won like three or four huge ones in the he past. Won the like players, right um, yeah, he won the players. This is his first major. And he's got to be top three in the world. Oh, he's right definitely top three. Yeah, yeah. He's he's very good. And he's in his um, prime. That's, that would be a huge Well, the live, I mean, he'd be, he'd be getting a big check. I mean, that's oh, no. that's... People are cashing in. <laughs> that would British be the Open. biggest chip. That would be the biggest domino to fall. He's he's like top of the top of the world right yeah. now. That'd be he's crazy. in a recession. Yeah. The live check comes calling. Come on, like, yeah. he's huge. Yeah, you're like um, uh, you know, probably yeah, not gonna turn him. Down. He's get that Saudi blood money on. You know, whatever. Um, all right, entertainment news. I mean, PGA is gonna have a hard time keeping up with the advertisers. Uh, you know, anyways, if yeah, they lose true. Cam Smith, it's gonna be huge. Rolex, um, everyone. Yeah. Uh, to Big Cat's dismay, according to NBC News and Twitter, superstar celebrity couple uh, Benifer, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, got married on Saturday, according to a Clark County marriage license. Here they are. Here's the happy couple. The couple Yay. who dated as, uh, you know, they, they dated in the early 2000s. They broke up 17 years apart. They rekindled. They finally did it. Uh, the they never were married before. No, never married. They were engaged and they broke it off. Oh, um, wow. You'd love yeah. to see that. Yeah. I mean, I give yeah, them two, two unless years you're a -Rod. max. A Rod, yeah, it's a tough day for A Rod. Upset. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they said they went to just you know. Uh, she said we, exactly what we wanted last night. We flew to Vegas, stood in line for a license with four other couples, all <laughs> making the same journey to the wedding capital. Behind us, two men held hands and held each other. In front of us, oh. a young couple who made the three or four hour drive from Victor Victorville on their daughter's second birthday. All of us wanting the same thing for the world mm -hmm. to recognize us as partners and to declare our love to the world through the ancient and nearly universal symbol of marriage, which she has already broken, I believe. Um, with, five uh, times. Yeah, yeah, five or six yeah. times. The only difference <laughs> is <laughs> it's marriage. Mark, An <laughs> Mark Anthony, A-Rod. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so why does state man sure someone has been divorced that many times? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, they got to be worth a billion combined right after that. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, you know what sucks is like when they, this is romantic, but when they break up, which they will, yes. you can't like, you can't treat she's never going to be in love with you as much as she's obviously in love with Ben Affleck, even though they're going to break up again until he's dead. No one's going to really have her heart. So, you know, this is number four for her own Jai Noah, Chris <laughs> Judd, Mark <laughs> Anthony. Uh, and look, she married a Chris C.R.I.S. and a Mark M.A.R.C. She's got to oh, think look at that. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Hope that dress wasn't white. Oh, wait, it, it looks like it was. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. Uh, next big celebrity uh, news that was trending. Little Uzi Vert, you guys ready for this? Has changed Whoa. his pronouns on Instagram to they slash them. Big okay. news coming out of the Little Uzi Vert camp. Um, this comes after he uh, after they sorry dropped a new song called Space Cadet, which goes like this. 
um, on the song. I am a space cadet. Whoa, the geek, that real, rage, stranger. I am so high right now. I can't even feel. What? Feel. Hey, you should get a hundred racks. Complete that drill. Hey, yo, do 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 do. Yeah, I was broke before. Don't like how it felt. Hey, brr, brow. Uh oh. Um, okay. So that's how it goes. Going to pass on that one. That'll but, be uh, uh, 50 racks now because you're going to have to split it with the other people in your wait, pronouns. But, did uh, he say, yeah. but how come he did? Where did he say that? Did he drop the they them in there? I just missed it. Or I just... No, no. He, he changed his to on his uh, Instagram page. OK, they, them. So that was just yeah. a related mm -hmm. rap. OK, I see. Right. I, yeah. What's up with the uh, people got to get over the zero followers thing? Like like <laughs> like I got he has 16 oh, he followers. Zero He's people. following zero people. Like, stop. What's well, because he, he follows himself, bro. It's so right. it's Little so Uzi Vert is so 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 dedicated. I don't to endorse cause. anyone except me. There me, was a bro. lot of trans news this weekend. I'm not saying Little Uzi Vert's trans, but did you did you see uh, Rainbow Kitten surprise? I did see that they canceled Rainbow the Kitten surprise. The surprise was the male lead singer is female. So they, oh, that was that was from a while oh, back. Wow, but they canceled surprise. they canceled the yeah. tour. That was the big news. But yes, they yeah. canceled the tour. She's Great band of North Carolina. Uh, uh, prisoner had to be moved to a new prison because uh, she impregnated two female uh, inmates. Oh, we, that was yeah. we, everybody called that. Remember, yeah. remember when they that talked about allowing that in that Sweden? Was, no, I think it was here in the states. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, it's been so, happening. Well, we also yeah. covered that one that where it did happen. Uh, that's that's one of those that's one of those bonuses. That was, but, yeah. Like you can retire your early, plus you can you can you could probably you know mm -hmm. trick if you if you're taking advantage of the system obviously not everyone right. is but that's a good way to take advantage of the system you're you're not going to get beat up as much cuz you're right. you know, stronger and you get to have sex with a bunch of women and if you're sitting there for yeah. you got life in front of you it's like yeah. you know right yeah but yeah. Then, um, it's like there was yeah, some bad people might, people might might take the plunge to she said to she tried to kill herself and the guards beat her up and stuff cuz she was trans but oh, she did get to have sex with some of the females so who knows there you go yeah. and now yeah. she's got a little one too yeah mm mhm uh, but hey, good good news uh, for the you know notoriously uh, you know he's trying to change the notoriously homophobic hip hop community. Um, the baby did. What, do you have uh, Boosie's reaction from that? You... No, I have the baby's Gross. comment. Um, <laughs> the baby said that little motherfucker been been sus since day one. Yeah. Just look at him. This ain't no surprise. You won't find him on my tour bus. That's for sure. Yeah. That's um, what he said. The yeah, baby said that. Real no, sus. no, no, no. Yeah. He didn't say that. <laughs> The baby. Yeah. The baby. Lights the up. Baby. He's out in the parking lot. Lil Uzi Vert's out in the parking lot giving people yeah. blowjobs. Lights up. The baby's comment was uh, baby, baby quote. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just following. Um, uh, let's move on. Skittles, guys. One of my all time favorite candies is being sued by a group of absolute, uh, you know, uh, party crashers who can't handle their titanium dioxide, uh, claiming that the uh, harmful food additive, uh, TiO2, frequently used in chemical foods, paints and cosmetics uh, there's too much of it in skittles apparently um this powdery substance in, known in europe as e171 was banned as a food additive earlier this year mm. um it's used as a bleaching agent a shining agent which you know is why the skittles are just so goddamn shiny and delicious yeah. looking mm -hmm. um it prevents caking and clumping um in may there's tons of this in uh, fast food right like where like i mean it's everywhere sandwiches don't everything go bad, good you know it's everywhere, yeah. Um, back in 2016, uh, the Mars Corporation and Makes Skittles said they would be eliminating the substance, but then they were like, wait, we can't do that. It's just too goddamn good. 2022, mm. it's still in there. Also, um, makes it way too easy to lose a Skittle, which you don't want to do, right? right you like, want them to be just When you're looking individual. for a Skittle that you dropped on the ground, oh, it's shining in the light. It's glistening, I would say. Is That's this right. the stuff that makes Skittles like look like you know the material that it looked like they're really hard to digest kind of like yeah, you shiny chew them like a billion times yeah. the, sheen. Even... the sheen the sheen yeah. the shell they don't yeah. just look that way mark yeah it's like gum almost when you when yeah. you if you take skittles they're literally toxic at them, mark yeah mm -hmm. they look they are they look um, unsafe the european i mean how much safety. titanium dioxide does it take to get you sick that's what i want to know they don't know yet will that's why i'm Three not going to stop eating worth. um but the european food safety authority published their review of titanium dioxide and they assessed Issue is including, um, you know, uh, reproduction, organ toxicity, DNA synthesis, neurotoxicity, immune modulation, inflammation, and carcinogenicity. Um, carcinogenicity. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm not gonna stop eating it, but it's they, they took it off the market in in, uh, in Europe. So, you know, who knows? If I was representing these plaintiffs in the court of law, um, well, I'm sorry for the defense. First thing I'd ask the plaintiffs is, um, you guys ever done cocaine? Right, right. Because right. if you don't like, know what's in there, do you? It's like a mountain. Mm -hmm. of coke. Yeah. If the I'd answer like to, is yes, 
<laughs> Just yeah. saying. I'd like to call Lamar Odom to the stand to defend Skittles. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <He> really... <laughs> Case closed. Is there a god, Lamar? <laughs> um, got a quick one. Walgreens was uh, trending because this woman uh, posted this on Twitter at Melancholy and Sex. She says, Dear Walgreens, I received this package today a week after purchasing a pregnancy test at your store. I was asked to take this test by my doctor despite having no fallopian tubes. Um, and they sent her a care package of Enfamil f formula and a, um, a nipple uh, just in case she was indeed pregnant. This had many people outraged, saying that this is a invasion of her privacy, um, that it might have been a kick in the face if she wasn't pregnant and trying to get pregnant. Oh, wait, what? They, yeah, they might have outed her. So basically on her care card, uh, they think she thinks, according to the, this continued post, that um, they used she used her rewards uh, card. So that's how they got her address. They then sold the information, which is fucked up, to Enfamil, and Enfamil sent her a care package just in case she was pregnant. This is, but this yeah. is standard. If this is standard, like in the, the, the baby industry is so big and they, they, they trade all these lists like when right. you. It, it happens. Right, like but a pregnancy hour. test, is that what you said? Like, what, yeah, she bought a pregnancy test. Shouldn't they yeah. be doing it when you buy, like, uh, the smallest diapers that are, are possible? Like, that, because like, then you know they have a right. kid as opposed or to... Or like, vitamins. Early, as early as they can get in on, as possible. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, back to the beginning, legally speaking here, guys, she's got no fallopian tubes. Why are we having this conversation? Well, you can get... She, 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 did she bring that up, though? She brought up, she, she's saying, like, yes. the assholes are coming yes, at she's me. She's like, I don't I have no them. tubes. Right. But she's taking a prank. I'm confused. They don't know that she doesn't have tubes. They know she, she took bought a pregnancy it for somebody test. else. Yeah. They all, right. all they know is that she bought a pregnancy test. That's why I'm saying it, they should have waited till someone bought like diapers or something. Right. You You're saying know, that's yeah. not a good enough trigger. No, know, it's not right. a good enough trigger for the free right. gift bag. No, because it can be. You know, like what a lot of people online were They're saying. Aggressive. What if? What if she? Yeah. What if she was trying to get pregnant but wasn't pregnant? It's like could be a slap in the face. What right. if she like? What if she was like cheating or something? And then they. they oh, out and her. that's how the guy found out. Yeah, that's <laughs> how the guy found out. Oh, honey, what the fuck is this? You told me you had no fallopian tubes. And That'd be you. amazing. What are <laughs> trying to trap the baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to trap the baby, huh? Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I got, I got a vasectomy and now Enfamil sending us stuff. Baby. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, all right, one more, we one important, <laughs> one important PSA before we get to the cream of the crop, uh, and that is that tomorrow is the Mega Millions drawing for five hundred thirty million. It is the eighth largest. Um, if you're not in patreoncom factor in our lottery pool, you're going to be kicking yourself when we win this Ooh, thing. Yeah. So get in there. 530 million, eighth biggest jackpot. Um, also, to the maker, to the people that run Jack Pocket, you kind of ruined my vacation, not allowing me to purchase my auto draws for the Texas Lotto because I was out of state. Yes. That created a lot of anxiety for me on my vacation. So yeah. thank you for that. Might Wes, what do I owe you for out. this? Um, uh, 35. Did you, 35. Yeah, did you get in yep. the last? Are we, uh, am I in this he's, one? Yeah, you're in this one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Right. Now, Pat, now, Pat, you are. Pat, listen, Pat, you're going to cause a big stir because I've de I denied people getting in late um, on this drawing, such as uh, one person in the Discord. So now this is host getting privileges. In, this I think is, Pat, well, Pat's yeah. cashing in his this host is house, privileges. He is. This is house companies doing it live. So okay. he's, 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 yeah. he's cashing in yeah. host privileges. You got Sounds a problem like with this? this? I'm saying don't come to me. <laughs> Go to Pat. It's times like this you got to ask yourself. <laughs> when we win, yeah. What when we dirt, win, what dirt do you have on Wes? Yep. If you didn't yeah. get in, yeah. Oh. Do you have a file? Not, I don't think not so. enough. No. <laughs> um, all right. Finally, let's get to the cream of the crop. Uh, guys, Ricky Martin is potentially and allegedly a sick and very twisted fuck. Allegedly, Ooh. tricky are... Ricky. Yeah. He's not a liar. Right. You guys remember the song um, <laughs> I Bang by Ricky? Loka, is yeah. That... yeah. <laughs> He's certainly not a liar. No, I think it was She Bangs. No, it's she I Bang. Bangs, it goes like this. It goes, and I bang, I bang, oh baby, when he moves, he moves, I go crazy because he looks like my nephew, but he fucks like a stranger, like every boy in history. He bangs, he bangs. I that. wasted, I'm wasted by the way he moves. No one ever looks so fine. He reminds me that a nephew's got one thing on his mind. 
this the um, European version or something? Yeah, I, don't, right. I don't think those uh, are the lyrics. Remix. I mean, as Ricky remix. Martin's been leaving leaving breadcrumbs for a long time now, guys. This is, he certainly has. Yeah, yeah. I he's don't got, got it. No more secrets, but he's got it. He might have a big one, <laughs> and that is that he's been fucking his nephew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, very big. There he is. Whoa, um, yeah. So from the for New York a long Post, time, right? Like in you know, like a for seven months, yeah. seven month mm. relationship. Yeah. Um, so the Tio Mal, yeah, very Mal. This came out after um, a, a domestic violence related restraining order was um, order. put against him in Puerto Rico. Um, the alleged victims was not previously disclosed. However, according to Spanish publication Marca, Martin's brother, Eric Martin, claimed the victim was 21 year old Dennis Yaldil Sanchez, the singer's nephew. And Ricky could face up to 50 years in prison for this incest and domestic abuse charges leveled wow. against him in Puerto Rico. But. Good news is that his nephew has been notoriously suffering from mental illness. Okay. Um, his Not lawyer, Marty Singer, claims that, um, unfortunately, the person who made the claim is struggling with deep mental health challenges. Mickey Martin has, of course, never been and would never be involved in any kind of sexual or romantic relationship with his nephew. Oh, good. The idea the is, yes, so. 50 years right. for incest. They do not like incest. They don't like uh, incest over in Puerto Rico. No. Um, but yeah. isn't the purpose of an incest law specifically to protect against pregnancy? Like, because that's horrible. Right. Isn't that why that exists? I'm sure it's bad in all circumstances. Yeah. You don't it's want bad it for society in this yeah, country. You don't want it in any of them. Pride yeah. and shame. Yeah. I'm just saying that for any family. Right. You don't want yeah. it. You don't, that, that's not what you. you OK, let me rephrase want. my question um, is uh, which is worse. Straight incest. Gay incest. Isn't it all bad? They're both. They're both. The no, we got to pick one. I would say they're equal. Why would bad. you have to pick one? They're the same yeah. crime. Okay. Then gay incest, obviously, Pat. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I was okay. I was gonna say straight. <laughs> all right. No, I don't. Listen, you're um, saying because the other one can't end in a pregnancy. Exactly. I, I that's why right. straight that's incest the line. is yeah, worse. Well, yeah. Yeah. there's yeah, there's pros and cons for both. They're both bad. They're both bad. No, they're both they're equally both disgusting. Um, so yeah, if yes. true. Big, right? Big, big of true. Um, and, you know, uh, his brother came out, Eric Sanchez or e Eric Martin, and said, look, this 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 guy's been a fucking plague on the family for years. He's already hurt other people. He's got a restraining order um, out um, a woman, oh, against him. He's just a mess. Um, Ricky and, Martin's you know, been letting uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico down for, you know, since about a year after that song came out. Uh, yeah. That's right. Oh, no, You're I think it was when he came out. Yes, the, but that the, was the first the letdown, Pat. Victim. And then that was the yeah. first one. Yeah, so first one. are you sure that and like maybe this isn't maybe you don't know this, but are you sure that the word step isn't in there somewhere? Like no. step nephew? No, nope. because that nope. makes it okay. not a step nephew, full okay. nephew. But this nephew it's his also, sister's son, I believe. Did the nephew say he had a consensual relationship for seven months with him? And seven Ricky, months. And, and then, Martin then left him. Yes. Rick, yeah. And then that's and he started following. He started parking outside his house. He started harassing him. So that's what he's saying. Um, Ricky is, of course, denying it. He's going to let the judicial process play out. And, you know, I, I believed Ricky until I saw some pictures of his nephew and knowing Ricky. And now I'm not so sure. Um, uh -oh. Oh, he's, man. Uh, uh -oh. he's chiseled. He, he's a chiseled young man. <laughs> he's got Ronaldo like abs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's, uh, his skin's he's the a color of mocha. He's oh, a treat. <laughs> look at his look at his cum Gary's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's, he's uh, got the he's got the fuck muscles. Going he's got those cummy G's. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Ricky. Whoa. Um, yeah. So yeah. we'll keep you posted on that. Pull you down for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Crazy life. He, bang. he yeah. bangs. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that. We'll keep you posted on whether or not Ricky is in 50 fact. years, though, for banging your um, your gay cousin. I'm just saying. That's how you weed out incest, Pat. It's okay. ridiculous. Yeah. You got to make it. I mean, think about it, Pat. How many cousins would you fuck if, if there were no laws, um, you know, <laughs> preventing it? Zero. Zero? I wouldn't fuck any cousins. <laughs> would you fuck a cousin? No, of course not. <laughs> but that people, some people would. You need my cousins like this. Implying you would. <laughs> my cousins are fucking hot, dude. My, cousin, my cousins are next level hot. How many? Yeah, none, zero. If there but, were but no if society, laws, if society like hadn't it? looked down what upon it forever, no what laws. What if society encouraged it, Pat? Yeah. How many cousins? How well, many? You know, cousins? I'm a rebel. I'm not in. I'm yeah. out. Sure. I do what's if right. It was perfectly okay. You know incest is gross. I'm on the record supporting all styles of public nudity, but not incest. That's a, that's a mm -hmm. bridge too far. What about incest step, though? Are you a step guy? What do you mean? Much better. I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like no just leave it out of the family. Sure. Certainly much better. up with other people. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, we'll keep you updated. That's do you ever get the sense on Pornhub that they just threw the word step in there? Uh, Everything's incest porn. I think to it's, make it's someone probably feel good. like warping everybody's minds. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's, getting it a little, it's getting a little out of control. 
There's a lot of it. Um, there's a lot of it. Um, all right, guys. Uh, that cup of coffee in the big time was brought to you by our fantastic sponsor, Feel. CBD isn't um, what you feel. It's about what you don't feel, stress, anxiety, and pain. I've used uh, CBD to help me sleep better, like uh, from feels. And let me tell you, it's far better than any over-the-counter sleep aid. Makes you feel like a zombie the next morning. I wake up feeling refreshed, recharged, thanks to feels. Feels is a premium CBD that will help you keep your head clear and feel your best. It's hassle-free, delivered directly to your door. CBD naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, and sleeplessness. There's no hangover or addiction, which is fantastic. I actually love their focus melts when I work. Uh, it takes away a little bit of stress, anxiety, gives me a little focus boost when I need it. With the focus melts, the focus boosting formula unlocks the powerful benefits of naturally occurring compounds found in citrus peels, which is tetracitrine. It's the propri mm -hmm. proprietary ingredient found in their focus melt and is your, a new key for staying focused and uh, a little more relaxed anytime you need a boost. Uh, the thing to remember about CBD is that finding your right dose is important and everyone's dose is different. Um, Feels offers a free CBD hotline to help guide your personal experience so that you find your perfect dose. The Feels customer service team is dedicated to making sure you get the best use of your CBD. Joining the Feels monthly membership makes your self-care easy. You'll save money on every order and you can pause or cancel anytime. So start feeling better with Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash factor and you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash factor to become a member and get 50 percent off automatically taking off your first order with free shipping feels dot com slash factor all right nice all right i'm doing a double pussy story today and oh, speaking yes. of double pussies if you remember uh i covered evelyn the woman from australia that has two vaginas on friday remember? i was real sad to see i slept oh we're well. already down under love it yes we're yeah, gonna stay watch. there next step next step, next well, story perfect uh turns out um Evelyn's popular amongst the hive and multiple people really? reached out to me like um, the truck well, you driver. You see why. I yeah, mean, like the truck driver, I convinced to buy that 75 yeah. inch Amazon TV on prom prime day. Wale shout out. You're going to love that TV. It's awesome. Also, mm. the hive adventure guys are big. Evelyn, big Evelyn guys. Colin pointed out um, as well as Wale and some other people that there are more interviews out there on Evelyn and more content. Um, that I maybe should have done a little bit more of a journalistic job and gotten that okay. information to you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some updates here. Can I, uh, Mark? Can I ask you a question? Because because yeah. I did sleep through the episode. Um, are the are both vaginas fuckable? Uh, yes, a hundred percent. That's the only reason I'm doing the story in the update. That's the, like the Mark had part. important no yeah. less than six jokes specifically about the fuckability of the of two. Okay. The canal, you know, like how you like the inside view that she's got two tubes, two of uh them. -huh. Two passages. Right. So you were on the right track, but you, I mean, your, your dick is like a tremor from the movie Tremors, That's right? right? And, and it's moving into town and it's going to take the shortest path or the longest if it wants to, you know. Could it go, it. could it alternate between it's both? Like, it's like yeah, Mario. I mean, yeah. It's like Mario getting in all the different pipes. Two paths diverged in a uh, frozen yeah. wood. Yeah. Right. Robert Frost style. Mm -hmm. um, turns, yeah. So for example, she told the Lad Bible back in January of this year that she uh, used to be a professional escort for seven years and that she used one vagina for work and one <laughs> vagina for her actual boyfriends. You no, almost, she did it. Yes, it you almost can't even get mad at her if that's the case. She say, if she's like saving the good vagina for you at home, it would suck if she was like using the good vagina <laughs> on all those Johns and you get the shitty vagina. How does like, she know? Oh, that's my boyfriend's yeah. vagina. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you slipped in the wrong vagina there. Yeah, I'm paying the big bucks though. It's yeah. like a, it's like a pickup switch on an electric guitar. Yeah, I don't know how she knows well, but she knows. Yeah, it seems uh, like she'd have to have extreme control, and you, I mean, yeah, you really she, have to take she, her word for it. She takes the, the dick and puts it in. <laughs> Honey, right. you want the you humbucker? She says she can tell. <laughs> uh, she also said one vagina feels way better for her personally, which was a question asked um, by one, oh. of you, one, of you, one of you gentlemen, and the answer is yes, one vagina is way better for her personally. Uh, but depending on, depending on the guys, no, the outer outer's one. It's all inner. Outer's just, okay. the, just the one oh. clit. The okay, one, got it. Uh, you know, Menorah, okay. Majora, all one. I got it now. Um, yeah, it's the inside passageway. She's got two of uh, the walls. Um, so she also said, like, you know, like, the one vagina feels way better, but depending on the guy's size and shape of his wang, she knows which hole to direct him to. So it does sound like some boyfriends will cross streams into the business vagina, oh, depending man. on the size and shape of their wang. That's got to like be goonies. embarrassing. Yeah. When you got to go, to... You gotta go left. <laughs> Brand. <laughs> yeah. um, when she's kissing him in the dark yeah when, when they, they go in the different uh, hole in the goon. i didn't know you had braces one of them yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so yeah. There's, there's like a vagina that's the equivalent of like bowling with with bumpers right right yeah right 
Yeah, exactly. And then if there's a pro a, level. If you've got a huge dong, you probably can go in either one. But if you've got a, a, a lame wang, you have to go to the one. Another advantage of having two vaginas, she said. Wait, is she, so your di- if your dick isn't big enough, you can only reach the business or the pleasure vagina? She didn't say. You'll never she, know. But she said she said she has oh. one for business and one for pleasure. So I, I, I'm assuming uh, I'm assuming that the the boyfriends with small dicks have to go to the business hole and they're and they're you know dipping with a bunch of other guys. I hope right. for their yeah, sakes yeah, yeah. they never that, compare you know, notes. Yes. With any other previous lovers. <laughs> right. What did it feel like? Oh, that's not You'd my feel experience. so gypped if you were in there and didn't get both, though. Yeah. Like, she you always sent I mean? you left, right? Like, yeah. that would yeah. just be <laughs> such a letdown. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm a left guy, right? Yeah, Ooh. exactly. That's what I'm saying. She's not saying anything. She, she's claiming she controls all this, like, you know, she, behind uh, the scenes. Playing it close to the vest and still keeping guys is that, is that the, is it? I mean, it's in the big dick <laughs> vagina, right? It's in the big dick one, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah tell me it's in the big dick. Did I create a third <laughs> hole? Did I just do a third one? Uh, another advantage of having two vaginas, she said, is she can use a toy in one while getting plowed in the other. And everyone has a good time with that. Oh, uh, geez, also, man. she said basically no position is off limits and that, um, you know, she probably can do some that people have never even dreamed of. They're all on the table with a double vagina. You can. Just... I mean, she's also a porn star, right? Like she does. Yeah, she's an escort. Yeah. Also, there's like a huge Flexible. hazard here, which yeah. is like, like if you ever been like speeding down the road and you're, you're you're like veering, you're gonna get off on a right exit, then you have to hit the left exit. You know that divider right there. Right. There's a huge hazard that you're gonna hit that divider. You could get stuck potentially in there. You know, right? But um, she, yeah, she sounds dangerous. Stuff she's doing. Could you imagine if that Brazilian dude that was born with two dongs or someone like him didn't get a dong removed by the party pooper doctors and had sex with both of Evelyn's vaginas at the same time with a double penis? They could achieve a quadruple orgasm simultaneously. That would be like the key orgasm. master and the gatekeeper in Ghostbusters. I, I, I think they could like that would <laughs> yeah. if they had a child if a, a child was conceived two children even at the same time that would start a new religion yeah i'm not sure i mean i never knew what soulmate meant but i think that's probably the closest thing i'm gonna get these i would together. follow that religion of like yeah you know, double what would you yeah. pay for that what would to you see pay it? to experience to that? watch that if it was an only fans video what would you pay right zero dollars yeah oh. i wouldn't pay to watch it but i'd support it i'd let you yeah. send it to me first i'd let you send it to me back. i wouldn't do that because my my only fans <laughs> is only for research you know that sci-fi fans would love it I'd pay a hundred dollars. Pay a hundred dollars to watch a double da- double down. <laughs> you throw the word step in there, and I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty impressive stuff, though. So there's an update on everyone. Thanks nice. for everyone for pushing me wow. for that. Uh, next up, how about some pussy at the airport? Huh? Look hmm? at that. Hmm? Uh, meet Rowdy the cat. Okay. Uh, Ra- Rowdy the cat is pretty much my worst nightmare. She's a cat that, for whatever reason, her owners decided to bring on a flight leaving uh, from Boston's Logan International Airport or arriving there. And she's also a cat that can get out of her cat carrier at will, which is exactly what she did at said airport. That's a that's a crafty cat. That's a cat that's got real flexible hands and paws. One of my get... five cats can get out of um, yeah. like the soft zipper. How? Zi- unzip the bag, yeah. He, he uses his teeth to like unzip it from the inside. Yeah. He pushes wow. the zipper along. And he got out in the car. So like, I understand. The cat's got talent. <laughs> yeah. The cats um, are pretty resourceful. Compared to dogs, they can definitely like shimmy their way out of yeah. things easy. Yeah, yeah, but they can't shit like, outside. My one cat's figuring out. No, yeah, out they can. How to open they, a door they actually, Mike, their paws. Mike does. Yeah, every they can. Day. Um, she, uh, so the, Rowdy was just the feline version of Tom Hanks' character from the movie Terminal at this point, And she lived at the airport for like over three weeks, completely evading airport personnel, <laughs> airline employees, and animal experts that tried to catch her. Good luck catching a loose cat in an airport, you idiots. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> They're not gonna happen. So it was essentially like the it was like three months of when a cat gets on a baseball field. Yeah, exactly. It was three weeks of that. But yeah, it was literally weeks. just juking people e- so easily. And then like it would just, you know, <laughs> there's so many like holes in airports. It would just jump in vents and shit. Right. Any uh, hallway, it can it can just run to the side and go in the closest thing. Closest like airports hole. are designed yeah. for cats to get lost in almost, um, which is exactly what she did. Uh, she was just juking these idiots out and then hiding in crevices and eating rats and airport food and having the time of her life. Finally, after more than three weeks of the owners calling the airport being like, did you catch Rowdy yet? Uh, <laughs> We're Rowdy, walking on. It. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, there's someone screaming in the background. <laughs> you just hear the Benny Hill music. Yeah, and the hissing. <laughs> um, it's tying it. They're getting... Anyways, uh, Rowdy did give herself up one day last week. She finally was like, all right, enough fun. And she laid down and let someone scratch her belly and pick her up. Um, and they said I don't, they don't know if she just got tired or if she wanted human like a cat food again because she was starving. She wanted but to she, go home. She she gave up and she uh, luckily she's going home. And her owner Patty Sal he said I'm kind of in disbelief. I thought what are the odds we're actually going to get her back? I got a call this morning and I'm just so shocked. And it does turn out. 
Patty and her husband Rich had a very good reason to travel with Rowdy because they were coming home from 15 years in Germany via being in the U.S. Army. So they were coming back to the States after 15 years in Germany, oh, and their shit. four-year-old cat Rowdy uh, saw some birds at Boston's Logan Airport opened the carrier and took off after the birds and was loose for three and a half weeks. There you have it. I bet I bet they weren't <laughs> calling the cat in German. I bet that's probably, probably why it, it took three good weeks. Point. Very mm -hmm. good point, Pat. Also, the cat was uh, cross-continent, so it was probably confused because it was probably trying to go home, and it was like, wait, I can't. I'm just stuck in the airport. It's so a good point. Birds, the cat was no very confused, yeah. um, but she's home. She's home now, so you know. thank you for your service, uh, Patty and Rich, and you got your cat back. Good stuff. All good. Nice. All right, gentlemen, pack your bags. It's time for the TikTok International Moment. And today, we're going to go start off back down under, uh, back to where the land of double vaginas, uh, for two penises this time. Uh, and then we're going to work our way back to the Queen's motherland of England mm -hmm. with a brief flyover of the Xinjiang province of China. As I said, uh, oh. English. Oh, do we have men, to? Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna look at it. We'll just look at it real quick. English speaking men playing with their dicks all along the way, the whole entire time. It's crazy. Uh, okay, first down under from uh, down under dick. Thank you, Sydney, Australia. The Australian Wallabies, the national rugby team, were taking on the England Flowers. I don't know what the English team is, but Not whatever they're called. Yeah, I think they're like the fly. Their signal is the Flowers, uh, and. Hmm. Uh, uh, like it, it was a deciding game of a three test series on Saturday, July 16th. Big game. OK, uh, Australia, the Wallabies prevailed 21 to 17, which is good for them. But most of the buzz after this match focused on the 31 year old man who was charged with, quote, behaving in an offensive manner in slash near public place and climbing on buildings on scheduled lands without approval, unquote, huh? uh, at the Sydney cricket ground. And let's take it to the Brown Cardigan account on Instagram uh, for the video of exactly what happened. You guys can see here. Okay. This is the stadium. Oh, he's on the top, of the top of the stadium. Yeah, he's on the awning. Uh, of, of What's the he doing? There. He looks like he's peeing on the security cameras. Like Jean-Claude Van Damme is sudden death. Yeah. So yeah, that's what he's doing. Pissing on the security camera. Yeah. And then he chills out, takes a selfie on top of the on. Excellent prank by this guy. Pissing on the stadium. Wow. Yeah. Peeing on a stadium is a good prank. How'd he get up there? I mean, he climbed up. He, yeah, that's what he was charged with for, uh, you know. So he didn't like go like through like a, like a, a door he shouldn't have. He climbed fucking up there. It yeah, pretty dangerous. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's impressive. I mean, Australians, you know, like a pretty, pretty fit group, I'd say. So like uh, probably better climbers on average than Americans. So yeah, he was in but, awning shape. Yeah, he was he was in shape to get up there. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice prank uh, from down under first dick. Second dick. Before we leave Australia, uh, let's click on the brown cardigans Instagram story. This this account is great, guys, if you want, are into Australian penises in public. <laughs> Who is so right? you, describe what you're seeing it's a screen recording of their story it's an adult on one of those children like uh, animals on a spring that goes back and forth like a horsey yeah like a park horsey yeah. the horsey in the park where you really giving is it that a small person on it it's close west very short man yeah his upper i want to say i want to say he's a he's a dwarf he, in his Maybe. mind he's running the kentucky derby right now oh man <laughs> where that he's grind, moving he's grinding know. one out yeah, well, he's having a better a, time than us. Yeah, you're on to the something. The Kentucky Derby. Uh, because uh, here's what they say in the uh, Canberra Mums Facebook uh, group uh, about that video. They said, "Let's hope ACT policing do more than just catch up with this man. Apologies for the late, not so lovely <laughs> message, especially on Boxing Day. Something happened on Boxing Day in the Goon Galin shop shopping center that I thought you should warn others in the mother's group about. While my husband and I were packing our little ones and shopping back in the car, parked outside the Young and Frisky bar, we noticed a man aged 40s, very short, five foot or so, <laughs> balding with glasses, Jockey riding sized. the rock yeah, so tiny. at the park on the street. He was there alone and riding quite erratically 
which was odd in itself. Then, before we knew it, he pulled down his pants and was pleasuring himself riding the horse, thrusting back and forward on it. When he finished, he wiped all his business all over the seat and handle Aww. and fixed himself up and walked off. Just left it for the next kid, huh? I was yeah. okay with it Crikey. until the the wipe. Yeah. Oh, he, when he pulls it out, you didn't. You, <laughs> you were okay, okay with, with pulling the it out? On the, on the horse. Well, what I saw, he what it wasn't pulled out. If he was just Not grinding yet. one out in his pants, I would have been okay with it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty contained. Yeah. It's a contained How many explosion. layers does he have? Two? Yeah. Two layers? Okay, it's that's working fine. hard. At did, most. At did, most. It, did it read he was writing erratically or erotically? Ooh. I think erratically is what she wrote, but erotically works as well. Yes. That's a uh, fantastic things video. Things get wild down under. Uh, let's take it to England. Let's take off. Uh, but before we get there, oh, look out the right side window of today's flight, and you can see the Xinjiang province of China where uh, Uyghurs are for forced to work on supplying materials for up to 95% of the world's solar panels. Uh, and uh, Jinko Solar Holdings, X-I-N-T Energy, X-I-N-T-E. Jinko's uh, are in solar panels now, not long. They diversify. J-I-N-K-O, yeah. so a little bit different instead of J-N-K. Fashions change, so, Mark. Yeah, yeah, they, they do. Directions do. I mean, times. <laughs> Energy's hot right now, Mark. Those, they, uh, those shorts are long enough to have solar panels on them. Yeah, they make some of the they, biggest solar yeah. panels in the business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oversized. And uh, Longi Solar are all in the Xinjiang province, uh, and they're still supplying the U.S. with solar panels and green energy materials from there, even though uh, all three were included in a 2021 report by geopolitical risk consultancy Horizon uh, Advisory that found signs of uh, ties to forced labor in their supply chains, all three companies. Um, and Ohio rep and Senate candidate uh, Tim Ryan is asking President Biden and Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas uh, what's happened uh, since we passed the whole Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act thing. Uh, it's not very effective if there are loopholes on the single biggest item the bill is aimed at. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens there. But thankfully, we've landed in England uh, for something uh, also very dark, but much, much funnier. Let's take it to uh, Middleton Chinney, Northamptonshire, England, uh, where this man, uh, John Jeffs, age 74, uh, you see, you see him there, guys. Mm -hmm. he, looks like a look, cult leader. Looks like a professor, kind of. Yeah, his name sounds like a cult leader. Yeah, all three. Yeah, he's he's really he's really in in that uh, in that wheelhouse there. Uh, he's a retired vicar, so you guys were really close. Mm -hmm. uh, he was caught having sex with a uh, Henry Hoover vacuum in his office at the Parents Talking Aspergers uh, nonprofit. Uh, at the local Baptist Center. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> where, where he volunteers after being retired. Um, Who's going to know? Spotted, <laughs> he was spotted <laughs> by a churchgoer, and the witness walked back past Jeff's office. They Forgot saw him almost like completely a dry naked. blow job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's a vacuum. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, he was spotted by a churchgoer, uh, and uh, as the witness passed uh, past Jeff's office, they saw him almost completely naked except for a pair of ladies' stockings, pleasuring himself <laughs> with so the English. Henry Hoover vacuum. This there it is. So yeah. English. Yeah. This, yeah. This <laughs> sick English fuck. <laughs> you know he had one attachment he preferred. So the Henry Hoover will, I assume, is Hoover brand, but it's a Henry model, which means the picture will have... No, it's an English-made vacuum, Henry Hoover vacuum, and it's a smiley face vacuum. <laughs> That wow. he was fucking the end of the 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 the, the like it looks uh, like a Duplo character that he's cord fucking. extension yeah um, oh. and it was propped between two chairs the the cute little Henry Hoover while he was banging it the seventy four year old Jeff said that he did notice the member of the public uh, seeing him but continued to perform the sex act because he was quote feeling naughty uh, and that's what yeah. he told the judge while his lawyer uh, tried to blame it on Jeff's uh, mismanaged and unmedicated diabetes uh, but that. Uh, defense didn't stop Jeffs from being uh, found guilty of indecent exposure, getting tagged on the sex offenders registry and uh, 18 months of community service where they probably want to avoid giving him an office with a vacuum and a window. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can't you can't be in a place that you can be spotted when you're doing something like this. Right. You know what I mean, like this guy gets real hot. Can I be spotted here? Target. And I'm not yeah. going to do it here. Right. <laughs> a vacuum. <laughs> He can only he can only clean his floors with like those uh, roll vacuums from now on. 
uh, the yeah. non-powered ones. Well, that his sucks. his 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 house never gets vacuumed. He just it, it, right right away he stops vacuuming That's the true. carpet and just right. fucks the vacuum. Yeah. yeah. What's a vicar? Will he's a horny guy. Uh, he it's religious. like an elder in some yeah. in a Baptist church, I guess, an English yeah. Baptist church. He uh his wife apparently has passed away, but it didn't say how long ago. He was just the mismanaged diabetes in the wife was the excuses of why he fucks vacuums in, in his office. Because she always sucked like a Hoover, I said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she, hate, she hated that vacuum. <laughs> she I, got that a, vacuum. I got a mess to clean up if, you, if, you, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> As always vacuuming. You hear it turn on all the time. He's <laughs> in his office with a loud vacuum noise going. Oh. He thought he was clean. Yeah. You're a bad boy, Henry. <laughs> we assumed he was oddly tidy. Yeah. <laughs> All That's right, guys. Awesome. <laughs> that was good. Uh, let's let's take it to the legal corner, as, as Will said at the top of the show. New segment uh, where we take a look at uh, when we examine a legal. This proceeding. is a throwback too, by the way. Looking at the old episodes, do you know how we used to structure the show? How? How? Every single show. It was the three top news stories, and then every mm-hmm. single sh- show would end with a quote unquote segment that we never redid. Yes. So it was like, oh, yeah. right, we would yeah. call them new segments. Oh, I still come up with new segments that I never redid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the, that was the for- old format. That you have that to look format. forward to here, legal yeah. uh, enthusiasts. Uh, yeah. That's a yeah. Love so it. in the legal corner, we're going to look at a, a proceeding. And before we get into today's uh, case, which, by the way, guys, is uh, Quashante Hazoma Short. Brundage, that's a hyphenated last name, which, by the way, is selfish, versus Richard Jordan. Um, we should go over a couple legal terms. So um, first up, do you guys know what the term pro se means? Yeah, say it. Yeah. Pro, pro se. se? Yeah, yeah. Do you know no, what pro what se means? Mean? Like um, pro- well, I'll give you a hint. It's usually associated with, uh, with a quote uh, often attributed to the 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, uh, which is, quote, a man who represents himself has a fool for a client. Mm. So it's you, you rep- it's representing yourself. There you go. Yep. Yeah. No no legal counsel. You yeah. go for it. Pro okay. se is Latin for uh, for oneself or on one's own behalf. Confidence. Yeah. Okay. All right. One one more legal term, guys. Uh, what about this one's easier? The term perjury. Sure. Yeah. You can't lie. Lying under oath. Yeah. Under oath. There you go. So you guys know what perjury is. Um, okay. Krishante doesn't. Uh, but <laughs> you're going to get a very very. Uh, detailed explanation of what the word perjury means when I um, play this clip here in a second. Uh, but yeah, perjury is when you're lying under oath specifically, right? Um, now to the case, which, by the way, guys, was heard via Zoom sometime in the last year. I, I'm not sh- exactly sure. Uh, it was in the 67th District Court in Flint, Michigan, in front of the Honorable Judge Herman Marble Jr. Uh, and guys, it was brought by the plaintiff, who's uh, Crescente, uh, and uh, Crescente brought it against Richard Jordan after the pair allegedly went on a single date uh, in which sometime after, Krishante alleges that Richard committed intentional infliction of emotional distress against her, oh, hmm. and perjury as well. Now, Krishante appeared pro se uh, after filing the suit in the wrong court herself uh, against Richard, mm-hmm. who also appeared pro se, which you'll hear why. Um, it's not, he's not necessarily a fool. Um, beyond that, guys, not much is known about this case, but the proceedings that took place uh, at the initial hearing, I believe, may merit something I think not only legal scholars are going to enjoy, but also members of the Hive that are legal enthusiasts. And mm. uh, yeah, one thing to note, guys, uh, Krishante, um is uh, appearing via Zoom from um, the airport on her cell phone. So I think it's okay. important to note. And um, Getting out of town after, huh? Exactly. And I'm, I'm going to put up a picture here just so you can see what uh, maybe Richard saw uh, before he went on the date, and maybe you'll see why. So here's our girl Krishante. You see that? She's, okay. you know, she's somewhat attractive. She takes ooh, some really boudoir. She's got some a backyard s- on her. Some sexual photos, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Take a sure. look. Right. Okay, yeah. The top, like her, her cover image is just her in lingerie. How many right. vaginas does she have, Pat? Uh, the jury's still out on that one, Mark. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, without further ado, guys, here is the proceeding of uh, Krishante versus Richard um, okay. in the uh, 67th District Court, Flint, Michigan. In here... You know, what is it? Intentional affliction of emotional That's distress? the judge speaking. Yes. Is that the claim? Yes, okay. it is. She's that's, on the move. That's not something that's really justiciable in, in district court. I'm sorry. what do you, I can't hear you. I said that's not something that's <laughs> justiciable 
in, in, in district court. That has to be uh, brought in circuit court. So you said it's not permissible in district court. It has to be um, taken to circuit court? That's an equitable action, yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jordan, let me just ask you this. Are you planning to uh, represent yourself on this? Uh, I, I, to be honest with you, sir, I, I, I thought this was just going to be thrown out. Uh, it was, we had a date, one date and nothing else after that. And now I'm being sued for $10,000. There was, I don't see how this is going to go any further. I think it's a waste of your time. The problem is this. If you think it should be dismissed, you know, you need to file the appropriate motion. You need to file a motion to ask for that. That letter, in that letter, he, he lied. And then that's what brought forth the perjury. It was never perjury in the beginning. It was per perjury after his response. Well, you can't you can't say, listen, he has he, he has the right to put whatever is in the answer. I'm not saying he can't. But count. You can't do you can't add another count because you don't like or you disagree with what is both. in his answer. <laughs> if he responds and his response is a lie, it's perjury, then uh -oh. my documents will prove that no, he lied no, and his no, response. No, 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 no. Yes. It's his version. First of all, do you understand what perjury is? Yes, I, I understand, understand perjury, perjury is a lie. Is. No, I know you don't. what perjury you don't. means. Perjury is a statement, a, a false statement made under oath. So exactly. What and I got documents that prove he was lying. He you don't understand. Under oath? It's a false statement yeah. made it was under in a letter oath. He wrote her. Yeah. Under oath. That stated so when did he testify to something that he lied about? It's he, under statement made, a he, false statement made under oath. She's like, Bottom always line is, you guys that are perjuring themselves. I will send it to circuit court. Are we done here? No, yeah. no you, don't, you don't understand, ma'am. You don't so understand. Are we done here? Are we done here? Perjury. Perjury is. Perjury is a false statement made under oath. I know exactly what perjury means. I know what perjury means. Are we done here? Criminal offense or not? What statement? I don't see anything in the complaint that says he made some false statement under oath. Because you don't know what happened. You're on the outside looking in. Yes. But you're the plaintiff. You are the plaintiff. You have to lay out your allegations properly. Are we done here? No, we're not. No, we're not. Do not insult my intelligence. You have to lay. Do not insult my intelligence. You have to lay your. You have to lay your. You have to lay your complaint out. It has. You have to allege this in the complaint. You have not. Do not insult my intelligence. It's not about that. You 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 don't think I don't think you understand what perjury is. It's a Are false statement here? made on Are we done here? Are we done here? I Please said do no. not insult my intelligence. I said no. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not insult my intelligence as if I do not understand what the word perjury means. Okay, so do not but she doesn't understand. If it's a criminal it. offense, then it's a criminal offense. <laughs> Well, ma'am, it, it should not have been filed in district court if you want intentional infliction of emotional distress. Okay, so that's a criminal offense. Do you want, are you are you going to dismiss it and refile it? No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to dismiss it. I will file another case in circuit. But as far as I'm concerned, you can't have two cases on the ma'am. You can't have two cases going on the same issue. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not. I'm not dismissing the case. If you want well, to dismiss it, that's up to you. But I, as a plaintiff, am not dismissing the case. And there you have it, guys. Look at that. Um, well, she's suing $10,000 for what? To, to, for dishing her? No, specifically. Okay, guys. Just, just emotional distress. He emotional calls, distress. Like, uh, yeah, absolutely. And guys, I did a little digging on our friend Kashante here. And mm -hmm. um, she's a pretty prolific lawyer, I'd say. Uh, here mm -hmm. are just some of the cases she's filed in the last year against. Whoa. Oh, she, so she files a case against every person oh, she goes on a date she with. Oh, she is boy. filing <laughs> cases, guys. Yeah. This is just the ones in Michigan. She also was in North Carolina for a while, just filing cases. The she the second she catches you in a lie in a text message, she she's like perjury. You well, I think now she's probably yeah. just going in 
knowing she's yeah. suing you. I mean, oh yeah. So I guess so they went on a date, right? It didn't, paydays. It like, didn't work out for whatever reason. Uh, our boy it's like Rich, playing a lotto, West. One of them's gonna hit. You yeah, know? she sued Chase Bank. She sued the police. She mm. sued Chase Bank's collection department. She she sued her homeowners association. She sued uh, AT and T. She sued Comcast. Uh, she's just a Bunch sue of machine. Perjuring motherfuckers. Wow. Right. And she, look, look, look. She's Do not insult her intelligence. Back. <laughs> she's filing these lawsuits handwritten herself. And um, she's just an absolute terrorist for the uh, 67th District Court in Flint, Michigan. And, and will be very <laughs> soon for, for the circuit court. Uh, yeah. Richard fucked up. Am I right, guys? I mean, Jesus. Bad a move. Giant polo, too. You don't well, I mean, him. he thought, look, Richard's just trying to go on a date, man. And like he, he get... didn't know how crazy this this lady is. I have like, a feeling she's a demon in the sack, though. Oh yeah, big Might time. Be worth it. You can get it there. Yeah, big if time. Get, if you get there, I you doubt there. Wes. I doubt. Well, I don't. I don't think that that lady puts out. I think she's just looking for a lawsuit and then goes uh, home. Yeah. Well, look, it, it it ended in a way that uh, he felt he needed to write her a letter. Uh, after the first date That's in which he lied, he perjured himself. What yeah. by some people's oh, definitions? Oh, his letter to her said what he said say? he cared about her will and that's yeah. a lie so she included that she included perjury in the in, yeah. the, in the in the civil complaint mm. um he there you have it guys himself. uh we're gonna keep up on shante because look she uh she files a lot of lawsuits and i now am tracking when she's going to be in zoom court <laughs> she also yeah. does zoom like uh like uh, like an elderly person right well you missed it uh yeah. the judge yeah, muted like her, her she yeah, the, the side ceiling. of her face yeah the judge yeah. muted her. Uh, that that video went on for maybe ten more minutes. The judge muted her, and um, the whole time the judge is talking, she's talking, uh, not looking at the screen. So uh, she heard nothing the judge said, and then, <laughs> and then the clerk comes in and says, "Oh, judge, I'm sorry. Uh, she didn't hear anything you said because because she she doesn't know that she's on mute." Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, the case is not dismissed, and um, yeah, Richard fucked up, bro. Don't think with your dick, okay? Watch out, Rich. Do a little Googling. Anyway, guys, let's get the wheel up and um, Ooh, and decide wow. who is going to be bringing you the cup of coffee in the big time tomorrow and the TikTok International one. Yeah. Wheel time. Yes. And by the way, if you guys want to follow Kashante, she is engaging with the haters. Just Google QA short and you'll find her. Um, Should her we? Uh, Great. I almost want to spin for a uh, random segment at the end. That you never have segment. to repeat. Yeah, ever. you have to come up with a segment name. I mean, I think old I school up, style. I usually come up with a segment name as a joke every day. Uh, yeah, it, it's hilarious because we used to do it every for the last every episode. Uh, okay, last story every episode. Okay, Will, cup of coffee in the big time. There you go. Who's got the TikTok International moment? Mark, it is. Mark. There you go. All right. Hell yeah, remember, guys. Remember to spread the word too and tell everyone. You know, now is the best time to get in on it right before our thousandth episode. You know, it's true hard factor yeah that's it's true you don't want to miss this thousandth episode you de whatever you do you don't want to miss yeah. that right spread the word you want to be here for it uh so spread the word yeah do tell a friend about hard factor that's really how we grow we're totally organic we're um we're non-gmo here so uh so, but yeah it's monday get out there so and have natural a great fucking monday <laughs>